So welcome back to another tutorial on how you can actually use ideogram to make movie posters and when i say movie posters these movie posters are actually really good i'm going to show you some that i recently made and i'm going to show you guys the prompt i used and how you can actually make those yourself because this is by far the most powerful ai tool at the moment and it's not actively you know most people don't really know about it so i'm going to show you guys how you can actually use it because i've actually been using this in several projects um, and it's just really really quick in terms of graphic design so these were some posters that i made here for pennywise 2 i'm not even sure if this movie is actually out but this is the kind of movie poster that you can make um, and there's a few things that you want to do okay if you want to make a movie poster first you're going to have to decide what movie i'm going to want to do okay so um of course first i'm going to write a uh, sonic movie poster and of course another thing that you're going to want to do with the movie poster is you're going to want to also decide what the text is so i'm going to be put um i'm going to be put green hill zone or i could just put um you know sonic 2 so i'm going to put a sonic movie poster green hill zone and then i'm going to also make sure that the ratio because there's different ratios that you can use all sorts of different ones just want to do 9 by 16 that's what you want to use set this to private this is actually free as well um and set the magic prompt to auto because that just allows you to um essentially have a better prompt um, and then we're just going to click generate and then you just want to make sure you click like two generations and then we should wait here and then this is what i did um, on, on the previous ones, what I did was I just had it really, really uh, simple. Like I just added a really, really simple prompt. And you don't want to do a crazy, crazy prompt because the AI system really knows what you want already. So we can see that some of these generations are coming in now. Um, and we can see right here that this is a movie poster. And it always generates four. You can see Sonic Green Hill Zone. This looks really, really cool. So um, yeah, these were literally generated Sonic Green Hill Zone release date. You can go ahead and edit these in Photoshop if you want. Um, and I think these posters are really, really uh, effective and really, really cool in terms of, you know, just how good they are. And I think, uh, you know, it just goes to show like what we could do. So, for example, I could do a let's do like a, a Minecraft movie poster titled Alex and Steve. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that this does work across many things. Now, I would say that if your characters that you are using aren't really notable, like, for example, if it's like Sonic or Batman or The Flash or like it's not. If it's like a celebrity or something, I would just say that generate the background first and then just put the celebrity in there if you want, because uh, it is pretty hard to do that. But as long as you have this and as long as you have the magic prompt on, so I'm going to show you guys what the magic prompt does. The magic prompt here is your initial prompt. It takes your boring prompt and then it basically extends it into this. And then you can see this is what the AI system uses and this is what it's able to generate here. And this one was just a basic prompt and this one, it, it's the, the magic prompt here as well. So um, let's go ahead on the private generations and you can see right here, that these are what the uh, movie posters look like for Alex and Steve. So, I mean, there's many different ways that you can use this. I think this is by far one of the most powerful uh, softwares. Um, you know, I'm gonna do like an action movie poster saying um, John Wick 5. And like I said, there is a there is a million different ways that you can use this software. There's gonna be a lot more tutorials on the channel, but I think by far this is the easiest way for beginners to generate a quick movie poster with something that's free and something that works reliably because Mid Journey doesn't work that well, Adobe Firefly doesn't work that well with text and ChatGPT doesn't work that well with text. Um, so um, yeah, I, I, I guess you could uh, do pretty much whatever you want. You can see this is the John Wick movie posters. Now, of course it might not look like John Wick 5, like it might not actually look like the character John Wick because it does does struggle with um stuff, but I think it's also still good for brainstorming and stuff like that. So if you are someone that wants to brainstorm, this is definitely something that you can use. Um, and you can just do many different generations. Now, another thing as well, if you want these styles, what you can actually do is you can actually uh, remix this. So you can click create a variation of this image. So let's say I like to this one, I can click remix. Um, and I can click image weight so I can do that and then I can remix that one because I was like oh that looks really nice so I can re remix that one and then you can see now it's going to remix this one to give me some better some better generations you can see that um, this one looks better because this one's got three hands and this one looks better it says chapter five unleashed um, and then when you're generating it you can see that the image weight you can put it all the way up or all the way down and the image weight is basically just how much weight the image has on your image so if I put two it's going to kind of generate it to be a bit similar but not too crazy so um yeah it's it's, it's pretty cool um and i think we're just going to take a look at this last generation here and you can see that yeah this one i think this one looks really cool um in terms of the bullets in terms of you know chapter five in terms of the typography i think everything looks good here so um if you found this tutorial useful uh you know subscribe um and we'll see you in the next one